Earlier this year, back in June, I got a chance to talk with Jim McMahon, former Super Bowl champion, who's also an advocate for using cannabinoids, says it saved his life. But he also made this claim. Watch this. I think they're in cahoots with Big Pharma. They've, 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 my whole career, they were pushing pills on you. Uh, for whatever ailment you had, they had a pill for it. And that's, that's the reason that they're demonizing this plant the way they are. So that's Jim McMahon talking about how the NFL really did push pills and painkillers on players and going as far to say as he thinks the NFL and the pharmaceutical uh, companies are really in cahoots. You've been outspoken about too many opioids being pushed on players. What can be done? Well, we need to look at solutions. We need to look at alternative methods to manage pain for players that, that experience injury on a high rate and are prescribed pills to deal with the pain. Um, it's an unfortunate situation, and we see that opioids affect people not just that play sports, but widespread. It's a serious issue in our country. So some of the research that's being done should definitely go towards alternative methods of pain management, whether it's cannabis or anything else that they're able to come up with. In some of the articles that you've written in, interviews you've given, you kind of pulled back the curtain a little bit, talked about the T-train, the Toradol, and guys lining up in the locker room to get these shots, this very powerful painkiller, so that they could go out and take the field on a Sunday. When you were not re-signed by the Baltimore Ravens, when you did not catch on with another team, do you think it's more about your marijuana advocacy, or was it about being so honest about NFL doctors giving out painkillers like this? Well, you know, I, the Ravens released me, and I didn't sign with another team, but I did have opportunity. And, in fact, recently my agent called me and told me another team, you know, since the season started, comeback? had reached out. But, no, I'm, I'm totally uh, moved away from football. Um, but, yeah, I'm just so concerned and focused on the issues at hand. And they don't affect me at this point anymore. Uh, you know, the marijuana policies don't apply to me. But I think it's important to uh, continue to work for the players that are still playing and the players that will come uh, to the NFL. And, and really, this can have effects that trickle down to the lower leagues of football where those problems that we have in the NFL exist as well. So for the NFL, if you could get in a room with Roger Goodell, what would you want to tell him about the amount of pain medication that's being, let's say, pushed on players, but let's say offered to players in an NFL locker room? The amount and the frequency are high, and I think that's a wide known fact. I think the conversation really uh, should be steer towards finding solutions to the problems we know exist. And there happen to be a, a few potential solutions out there that haven't been explored by the NFL previously. And I think it's time now that they do. Quarterback Russell Wilson has a significant ankle injury and puts his week two start against the Rams into question. Wilson injured the ankle in the third quarter after being sacked by Indomitian Sue, but did not miss any snaps in the game and threw a career high 43 passing attempts. And no surprise in the post game.